Okay, guys, we have the SU-47 here. This was uh, probably the fastest turnaround on any on any plane that I've made so far, and I gotta say, it came per it came out perfect. The build is perfect. Um, the fitment, everything went together absolutely beautifully. Um, we got some uh, some twin 40 millimeter X Fly units in there. Um, I apologize. The uh, there's some stuff I didn't clean off the the print, but I don't have time. I got too many planes to build, too many to design, and uh, and that's just how it's going to be. Because um, this thing could just pile drive into the earth uh, tomorrow. My plan is we're, it says um, three to nine mile an hour winds tomorrow uh, evening. So maybe six, seven o'clock. I'm thinking about getting some flying time in or the maiden. So let me show you what I got here. This thing came out balanced perfect. The CG is right around this crease right here, which uh, is to be determined. So let me show you. So this is, this is basically friction fit right now. Um, at the most, you may just need two small magnets. It's even hard to get off. So tongue and groove right there. So tongue and groove, and uh, it just needs one magnet. So look where the battery placement is. Um, when you design a plane, you don't know, unless you have some serious engineering calculating software, you have no idea where um, the weight is going to end up being. Uh, because first of all, the mass of the plane, the mass of the servos, the mass of the EDF, the wires, everything, the, where the battery is going to exactly be. You don't know exactly where everything is going to end up in terms of the, um, the CG. So uh, there, that is where I put my EDFs right there. So I got the EDFs kind of, you know, towards the back, uh, but not as far back as I usually go with, with some, of my, uh, some of my designs. And, um, oh, I forgot to show you. So the, I, I call it, this is the, the four by four setup. So super simple, super simple. You got two nine gram servos controlling. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna carefully rest it there and show you guys the tractor setup. So you got four by four control with two nine gram servos. This jet, guys, weighs 850 grams all up. And we're supposed to have about, I would say, a thousand grams. The, the X-Fly advertises each one of these things on 4S um, at, a, at, what do you call it? At 500, 500 grams each. So I'll show you the controls we got from back here. So that should, this should be, should be exactly what the doctor ordered. Look at that. Look at that control. I don't know, man, this is gonna be pretty cool. This is gonna be pretty awesome, I think. I just, um, you know, like all the other planes, just got a made in this thing. Um, it's going to be an absolute monster and, uh, and I'm super excited about this. Um, it's not going to be that fast. I don't think, um, if, w when I actually run the thrust up, it feels like it's like maybe, um, eight to one thrust, even though it has, it's 850 grams. Um, I may not, ha I don't know the, some, something with the, uh, with the tunnels or something, but, um, you never know though. The, I was surprised with the, um, with the, uh, SR 71 bird. Uh, with the forward swept wings. I was surprised at that too because that one didn't feel it felt like about one to one So this um, this this should this should get up and go just fine. It's gonna have better uh, Power to weight than than most other planes. So yeah, I'm really liking the twin 40 millimeters because they're um, They're super lightweight and they, I mean they're probably like the equivalent to a six well, maybe a little less than 164 but um, but it allows you to shrink everything down into a smaller scale and with 3D printed planes, once you go over a certain weight, which is about one kilogram, you end up with a braking issue. So every time something will land, this isn't gonna have that problem because it's a, it's a rounded, rounded shapes are always inherently stronger and nothing is really gonna dig in except for the wing tips, which, you know, I, I could be eating my words, but at least I have some, some fuselage underneath here to, to help keep that off the ground. Um, I may need to add some little, um, uh, some little, uh, 
uh, add-ons on the bottom of the wingtips just to keep keep them from digging in, basically. Um, kind of like half moon shaped um, discs, basically, out of PLA that I would just glue on the bottom. So anyway, uh, made in tomorrow. Look forward to it. And um, let me know what you guys think of this thing. Let me know uh, what you think is going to happen. I, I want to know what your input is. Thanks.